like you're ready to get married. Tell me, how old are you? I am 16. 16. Mm -hmm. And so 16 year old, years old right now, you're supposed to be in what grade? I'm supposed to be in 11th grade. And, and what I'm grade in, are you in? The 9th. <laughs> you're 16 years old in the 9th grade. Why? Well, because I failed once and they held me back one time, so. Okay. And what grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade. You're in ninth grade? Yes, ma'am. So you're in ninth grade, and you're in ninth grade, but you're supposed to be in 11th grade, and y'all are ready to get married. Do you have a job? Uh, I did, but I mean, <clears throat> I moved away from that job, and uh, right now uh, I'm trying moved to really Moved away do... like to a different state? No, uh, about 400 miles away. Okay. And so, and uh, I'm trying to get another one, just a little part-time job until I get out of high school. You know, I want to get my high school diploma, though, and get a full-time job. How much money do you think it takes to, to raise a family for you two? For, and for one year, how much money do you think that takes? A lot. <laughs> how much? Give me a number. <laughs> like 50000 About oh. 20000 No, fifty. dollars <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you guys are already fighting about money. Do you know that's the number one reason people <laughs> Both moms are here, and uh, they do not agree with this. We'll be right back. So, Kirsty is 16, and Richard is 15, and they are engaged to be married. Way too young, in my opinion. Um, you guys have had some, some, some issues, some relationship issues, right? Tell me about the, the issue that you had, Kirstie. Um, through the past while that we've been dating, he's broken up with me twice for other girls. He's broken up with you twice for other girls? Mmm, mm. okay. he called me the last time, and he was, like, crying and stuff, saying that every time I'm with him, the only person I can think about is you, and I really love you, and I would do anything for you. And why'd you break up with her for other girls? Because, I mean, it was kind of hard because we live about 400 miles away. And it's, you know, it's hard. I mean, all you do is talk on the phone all the time to her, you know. And, you know, I wanted to try something different, but every time I did, you know, it just, it wouldn't work. Like, I would, I would want to be with her. So if you get married, you're going to be in the same town? Yeah. Living in some parent's house? Uh, probably, yeah, until we're 18, because you can't leave your house. So you have parents that don't approve, but you want to move into their house to support a marriage that you're too young to have. Yeah. Okay. And, um, Richard, you want to move to a certain place. It's a dream place that you want to move to. Where's that? I wanted to move to the Bahamas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After you get married. And you want to live, like, on the beach and stuff? Yeah. Wow, don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Kirstie's mom, Lisa, and Richard's mom, Ruth, have been listening backstage, and I'm sure they're going crazy. Come on out, mamas. <laughs> okay. So, Ruth. What do you think about all of this? You I are Richard's mom, right? <laughs> yes, I am. You think it's crazy? Mm -hmm. You think this whole thing is absolutely, absolutely. ridiculous? Absolutely. Yes. Why do you think your son wants to be married so young? Well, because, you know, the reason we all do, you know, we all have these feelings. We all want to be with somebody at one time or the other, you know, and especially at this age, their emotions are running high. It's Hormones. More less than it is love. When I but asked they him don't why, know that. Yeah, I asked him how, why he loves your daughter, and he just mentioned all physical stuff. Exactly. All like mm -hmm. her this, her that, mm -hmm. her that. I'm like, where's her heart and her spirit, her kindness? He just went to the booty and the hair. Exactly. And the, exactly. I'm like, okay. Exactly. And Lisa, tell your daughter how you feel about this engagement. Um, I feel like that she is not mature enough right now, and that I would like for her to um, have more options in her life and make a more informed decision mm -hmm. about marriage. Is there something inside that makes you feel sad, that makes you feel like Richard's going to make it all better? Yeah, whenever I'm with him, like, I feel safe from everything. And, like, when you're not with him, what do you feel like? I just feel worried about everything, like everything that's going on in my family and like school and stuff and like what he's doing. 
Mm -hmm. You worry about what he's doing? Yeah. Like you get jealous? Yeah. Yeah? And so you think marriage will make him not cheat on you and not leave well, you for other girls? Well, I think that um, if we were together more often, then I wouldn't be worried about it because we get to see each other like four or five times a year. And then during the summer, we get to see each other a little. So the marriage will make the long distance relationship not long distance. Yeah. And you can watch him, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you know how many married women are living with their husband and still don't trust him? No. Yeah. That's wrong. Do you understand that? All the things that you're talking about are normal teen issues. Everything you're talking about, I don't trust him, friend issues, family issues, everybody has that. But for some reason, you feel like this is the way to solve all of that. And that's a temporary fix that's gonna make you feel good when the dong, dong, da dong, 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 da dong, and then that dong, dong, da dong turns into dong, da dong, da dong, da dong, da dong, da dong, da dong. We'll be right back. Billy got married really, really young, and they're here to tell these young kids on the stage what teen marriage is really like. So, Kayla, tell us about your life. You guys got married at 15 years old, you had your first child at 16, and your second child at 17. So, tell me what, what, it, what your day is like now, a day oh. in your life. Gosh, um, well, I don't work because we can't afford daycare. So, I sit at home all day long, take care of the kids, you know, while he's at work. I know that you feel that you have the responsibility of a 45-year-old parent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just exactly like my mom. Do you guys argue? Oh, all, all, the, time. all the time. All the time. About everything. Money, uh, anything there is. Time away from each other. Everything. Really? We've probably argued about 50 times on the way here. On the trip here. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank <laughs> you so much. Caitlin, I know that when you were all sitting up here and your mom was here and your mom was crying and then you started to tear up and talk about your pain and where it comes from, it made you start really thinking about this whole marriage thing and being so young. How do you feel now? I feel like maybe I should wait because I have, there's things I need to think of. And Ryan, you're a baby too. Are you thinking maybe you could wait a little bit? Yeah, I could wait. Yeah. It's, it's no problem. Okay. You know that Janet Jackson song? Yeah. Let's wait a while. <laughs> Before it's too late. Well, she doesn't sing it like that. But no. Yeah, she's talking about something that you guys have already done. But um, I think it can, it can pertain to anything. Yeah. Getting married, having sex too early. There's a lot of things. Yeah. And um, you too. Kirstie, Richard, how do you feel? Um, I still want to get married, but... I think I can wait, but I mean, I still want to get married. You think you can wait? Well, I mean, you know, if anybody else can, I mean, I can. Wow. I love that. So we got the girl calling the shots over here and the guy calling the shots over here. How do you feel about that? Your man just said he could wait. <laughs> huh? You can too. Uh, <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I mean, we can, can wait. wait, but as long as I get to move, like, near her. All right. To be with her. And if you don't, and you date other people too, that's fine, because if it's meant to be, y'all will be married 10, 15, 20 years from now. And it's okay if he dates other girls and know that you're hot and that other guys are gonna want you, right? And me have to beat them. <laughs> and you might have to beat them, but only with words, not with fists. All right, what advice would you give our guests today? Do you think, well, how would you tell them that they are like crazy for doing this? I know you're at home watching the TV like, Tyra, why didn't you say, this now's your chance and y'all will go on tyrashow.com and read those comments okay promise yep they're gonna read your comments we'll see you later all right sing it away fergie Tyra, Tyra, Tyra.